broadcasting live from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Lotus Smith for FX 77 Option. US stocks are seeing strong trade this Thursday afternoon here at the New York Stock Exchange as Wall Street takes in the European Central Bank's rates decision, economic data and a new series of earnings. Draghi's comments sent European equities higher and US equities as well. We begin in Europe as the ECB kept interest rates unchanged. ECB President Mario Draghi said the bank's degree of accommodation will need to be re-examined at its December meeting. Meanwhile, there is a lot of action on the data front as weekly jobless claims came in at 259,000 below the expected 265,000. The September Chicago Fed National Activity Index came in at a negative 0.37, slightly higher than the negative 0.39 August reading. The FHFA House Price Index rose 0.3% in August. September existing home sales rose 4.7% to 5.55 million and leading indicators also fell 0.2%. Meanwhile, on the commodities front, oil prices are rising this Thursday, lifted by technical buying and as investors re-evaluated U.S. data showing falling stockpiles of fuel as well as higher crude inventories. In addition, precious metals are seeing gains amid risk aversion as gold futures jump $22.50 or 1.99% to $1,154 U.S. dollars an ounce. And now to talk about the ECB and its effect on gold prices is Thomas Vitiello of Orem Option Strategies. Well, it, it's fairly interesting. I mean, the euro really really got hit uh, uh, down two handles, which is, uh, which is significant. And gold uh, actually rallied on that, which is quite surprising because of the dollar strength. But really, when you look at the, the reasons for it, it's just very dovish comments coming out of Mario Draghi and just you know looks like more money printing. So I guess there's a bid in gold and, uh, and also the US dollar. So money coming out of the euro and into both uh, the equities in the US and uh, also some coming into gold holding it now gold's not rallying strong but in euro terms it's up a lot because the euro is down uh, quite significantly and usually uh on a normal day you'd have gold follow the euro uh because of the dollar strength but that's not happening today so it's a pretty good day for gold actually even though it's not up that significantly in terms of the euro it's up a lot and we conclude with the forex market as the US dollar remains under pressure with the euro US dollar 1.39% lower at 1.1181. Meanwhile, focus is on the Australian dollar US dollar pair, which broke below a rising trend line and remains on the downside. Short positions below the resistance at 0.7245 are favoured with targets at 0.7160 and 0.7140 in extension. And for FX 77 option from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Lotus Smith. Yes.